Yeah. Oh. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm just coming on. When I come back from squinting, we're looking at each other. Okay. Oh, shit. Mother fucker. Did you? F oh, hey, Nate, we got to go. Look at this. Look at this. We got to go. It's been about two hours since this incident took place. Now, the gun in question is a Johnson Arms 12 gauge single shot shotgun, which is a brake barrel. You open it with a lever. Now, this gun was made in 1909. For some reason, someone cut the stock off, the butt stock off the gun, which is not a big deal. Um, I shot the gun, it recoiled. The lever action that opens the, that opens the barrel went into the webbing between my thumb and forefinger of my right hand. There's quite a hole, have a look. So as you can see, the importance of this is, is safety. Now, when Nate, anytime Nate and I go shooting, safety is paramount. We're always asking each other, are you unsafe? We're always asking each other, muzzle integrity. That's paramount. Sometimes things happen. Now, what's most important, and what I was lacking, was a first aid kit. That ends today, because I'm going to get a first aid kit first thing in the morning. The reason it's first thing in the morning, is because I'm now at the hospital going to get stitches in my hand. I managed to stop the bleeding with what I had in my truck, which was some napkins, some paper towels. I stuffed the hole, then I wrapped it, applied direct pressure, and the bleeding stopped, which is a good thing. I then drove 40 minutes home, dropping Nate off on the way, flushed it out with saline, come to conclusion, as you can see by the size of the wound, that uh, it needs stitches. I'm now at the hospital going to get stitches. I'm sure I'm going to wait a while, but it is what it is. A first aid kit. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you should always have a first aid kit in your car. We were not being careless. We were not doing anything we shouldn't have been doing. It was just a freak accident, and sometimes those things happen. Anyway, I'm about to go into the hospital and get some stitches. I'll see you when I get out. All right, guys, welcome back. I know this video is kind of all over the place. You're kind of wondering what in the world is going on. Well. I'm about to explain. It's obviously the next day and I think it's time to kind of explain what happened here. Things are a little calmer now. So yesterday, Nate and I went out to the farm that we go to hundreds of times to shoot our guns, have some fun. It doesn't matter what we do, if safety is paramount. Uh, we're always talking about muzzle integrity. We're always talking about, hey, is your safe on? And he'll ask me, is your safe on? That's just the way we are because we know how dangerous guns can be. So I got this gun from my nephew Tyler. It's a 1909 Ivers Johnson Arms single shot, 12 gauge shotgun. And before you lose your mind, it is legal. It is legal size, legal everything. So I thought, let's go try and shoot this gun, see what it's like. Major flaw. There is no pistol grip down here. Single action. This action right, this right here obviously opens it. A little difficult right now okay that simple pull the hammer back pull the trigger away you go we were recording an intro at the time so what I did was I'm gonna have to use the other hand we're both gonna shoot the guns at the same time I had a hold of the gun tight grip tight grip on the front pulled the trigger what happened was the recoil sent the lever back into the webbing between my thumb and forefinger hence the hole in my finger so what happened was this thing went into my hand and I came back out which then left that big hole um, you did hear some choice words I apologize for that but so went in here down into the palm of my hand and obviously came back out leaving the hole went to the hospital unfortunately sat there for 10 hours got five stitches and that was it what did we learn from this well this we learned that this gun's now a wall hanger I'm not shooting it anymore also first aid kit I did not have one in my truck 
I had a bunch of napkins in my truck, which was all I had, but you make do with what you had. So I packed the hole with napkins, then wrapped it with a napkin, kept the pressure on it, told Nate it was time to go. What did we learn? One, get a first aid kit. Always have it with you. Two, if it can go wrong, sometimes it will go wrong. But other than that, we're all good. I did not get shot, although it was quite a hole. And what I, what I shot out of this was a number four duck load, steel shot. That was it. But because there's nothing back here for me to really grab and the short barrel, it was 100% recoil. So needless to say, uh, hurts a little bit. It's all good. There was nothing unsafe about what we were doing. Again, like I said, safety is paramount, but if something can go wrong, sometimes it is bound to go wrong, and yesterday things went wrong. So it'll be a while before I can actually shoot a gun for a while. It's going to kind of put a damper on hunting season. Although deer season is on, I can shoot my crossbow. There's no recoil to the crossbow, so I can shoot my crossbow. So we'll be doing some deer hunting right shortly. But I figured I needed to explain that a little bit as to what actually happened. This video is kind of all over the place. So that's it. Obviously a short video. Our, our shooting day was cut short. Uh, we had lots of plans. We had some videos that we were going to pump out yesterday. Uh, this was the opening to the first video. <laughs> that kind of went sideways and obviously I said it was time to go. So again, what did we learn from this? Always have a first aid kit in your vehicle or in your hunting bag so that you can get to it immediately and uh, administer whatever first aid is needed. If you haven't taken a first aid course, might be wise to get one. Now Tyler did tell me he has shot this gun probably a dozen times, didn't have any problems. So when I went to go shoot this gun, I didn't think there was gonna be any problem either until uh, the recoil and then the pain and then the blood and then the travel. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope we learned something from that. I guess the big takeaway is know your first aid, have a first aid kit in your vehicle, readily available at all times. See you on the next gun video. Later. Yep, when it gets in, into your hand, I'll put it there. And so will you. I'm going to try and, so I want to try and get it and then not like on my arm, but under my arm and then. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have to pull it back. Just let it just come down and yeah. it came in there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Let's try it through that. Maybe may be wasting a bit of ammo here. No. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm just coming on. When I come back from squinting, we're looking at each other. Okay. Oh fuck, that fucking hurts. <laughs> oh fuck, that just ripped my hand open. Ho <laughs> ho! What'd you I drew, drew the fucking hand of that. Yo! <laughs> I guys want to shoot that one. No, don't. We gotta go. <laughs> That's a hole. Larry ah. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> what did it do?